Okay, family, today I got a special request from two friends of mine that I play a virtual reality game with called Sky and Bella. So this is the Sky and Bella show today. So Sky, I promised you that I was going to have fragrances that are um, smell a little a little more better than uh, Dior Sauvage, this fragrance right here, which I'm a big fan of. I like this fragrance. You know, I am not a reviewer that really cares about uniqueness or hard to get or I understand that this fragrance to a girl's nose, it's in your favor. Most girls are going to like this fragrance. And, you know, people hate on designers. I'm not sure why, guys. I don't get it, you know. But this is a great fragrance. I own two bottles of it. I don't feel like getting the other one, but here's one. And Sky and Bella, I'm going to show you fragrances that I like to wear. And then, obviously, um, I have a girlfriend, and they know my girlfriend. So I'm going to show fragrances that I think suit a woman better than a man, but I have in my collection. And I, those are the ones that I, I want my girl to wear when we're together. You know, these fragrances on her smell great. And Sky, I got fragrances for you that are going to smell amazing. And you just need one, you know. Uh, I'll point some out to you. I have some, some stuff I want to um, present in a certain manner. So let me just show you the fragrances and let's rock and roll. So family, this is the fragrances. Now, I also have two honorable mentions and when I draw the fragrances that go with the honorable mention, I'll pull it out. Just want you guys to see. Oh yeah, Sky and Bella. I want you to see, I got fragrances. Hold on Sky and Bella. I just want you to see. I got fragrances, guys. I got fragrances. So, when people ask, I don't know if he knows what he's talking about. I would definitely have to disagree. So, um, Sky, the first fragrance we're going to have for is for you. And this is called Cormandel. Now listen, um, this is about an 8-hour, 10-hour fragrance. To me, this is Chanel's best fragrance. Like if you had a blind buy some from the exclusive line, that is ultra attractive. This has uh, manliness in it with white chocolate. I mean, I know it's hard to fandom, phantom this, but when I tell you that, Sky, this is um, one of the most alluring fragrances a man can wear very masculine white chocolate it's an amazing combination the sad part is that this used to be like 350 dollars now it's 500 dollars so sky and bella please sample everything here and i'm going to show you two honorable mentions that smell really good and don't cost a lot so that way you can see um, where I'm directing you. If you want to buy something, you can buy the, the most inexpensive ones and watch how good they are. Now, the second one is for Bella. Now, when I went out on a date with my with my girl, she had this on. And this is Baccarat 540 MFK. I'm going to have to say that this is a stunning fragrance. I don't understand the hate. It's old. It's this. Everybody smells... Look, we were eating at a restaurant, and I could smell her from sitting down across the table. This is strong, you know, but you can wear this year-round. This lasts 16 hours on your skin. This is a very strong fragrance, you know, so I don't see what the hate is about this. This fragrance, when I smell it on my girl, I want to attack her. That's how good this smells. And Sky and Bella, if you're going to buy this... And you're not sure, sample it, and when you do, buy the big bottle so that we you get you get it for the best price. Now, another fragrance. Oh, yes, also Sky and Bella. This is a unisex fragrance. So this fragrance right here is, is unisex. A guy could wear it, a girl could wear it. But I think if you're a guy and you have a girlfriend, you let her rock it. That's my opinion. Now, if I was, you know, if I was single, this would be something I would put on to get girls. So it's a, it's a catch-22, but I'm happily taken. <laughs> so another one for Bella. 
And this is called um, Reed de Chanel BDK. So look, um, this again is a unisex fragrance, but I think on a woman, it just smells much better. When, um, when my girlfriend applies this fragrance, my God, I mean, I thought it smelled good on me, but it just smells better on her. And something else I'm going to tell you, Bella, this house, BDK, is a very uh, beautiful house. You know, um, and it works well on women. You know, I would wear this. Like I said, if I was a single guy, this would be something I would wear to attract ladies because the sandalwood in here. It, I know this is saying a lot, but this could be one of the best sandalwoods in the game. This sandalwood and this fragrance is immaculate. This is a masterpiece. They have it in straight. I never smelled that one, but I don't say masterpiece lightly. This is a masterpiece. This smells gorgeous. And on a woman, my God, it's dangerous. It truly is. So, Sky, I got something dangerous for you, my friend. Don't worry. I'm your brother, and I got you. From the house of Parfum de Mali, this is Harriet. Now, listen, Sky, this is one of the most sexiest tobacco, vanilla, fragrances in the world when i'm talking about getting a girl's attention this is a 12.5 this hits the top of the list this is a and for me this was uh this is about an eight hour fragrance always has been but it's an eight hour strong the whole eight hour then at 10 hours it starts to like you know from eight to ten it'll start to dip if you spray your clothes you know you get it to the next day but it's always been a good, strong eight-hour fragrance, and it's one of the most sexiest fragrances in the world. I'm telling you, this is no lie. This tobacco fragrance is amazing, amazing, top-notch. You cannot go wrong, and it's done in a gourmand sta uh, fashion. It's, it's very appealing to a woman. The pipe tobacco, whew. Man, it's a dangerous fragrance, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, Sky. So, let's give you two more, Sky, right now. But don't worry, Bella. I got some coming up for you. So, Sky, this is from the house of Casamorotti. And it's called Italica. Now, listen. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. This is one of the best gourmand fragrances in the world i don't I, I smell stuff just as good as this but that's not too many times i smell something this good this is almond milky this is like heaven in a bottle cinnamon i mean this is just one of the most Alluring gourmand fragrances in the world. Last 12, 14 hours. You know, this is a great winter, fall, uh, spring when it's cold, cold spring days. I mean, the almond, the milky accord in here. It is just one of the best you can possibly get your hands on. I'm not lying to you. Also, Sky and Bella, if you want to buy these in the States, I'll show you where to get it for the best discount if you can't find a good price where you guys are at. So, Sky, uh, here's another one for you. Don't worry, Bella. I got you. I got you next. So, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Yes, they have a newer one, but I think when it comes to being the most sexiest is this one. And this one is perfect perfect for netflix and chill you're home with bella you put this on and you know the rest is history this is um taramasuki cake some indian cake and it's just a gourmet that again these are one of the few gourmets you're going to smell this good in the world i put two up here there are some more but these two right here are two of the best, especially to a woman's nose. 
this thing right here is electric man i'm not gonna lie to you um it's the reason why it's great for like netflix and chill because it's not a big big projector it'll last long on your skin but it's more for close quarters so this is something you wear when you're home and it's amazing now i'm going to show you something sky before we go to the next fragrance for bella now if you want to test my skills and instead of paying because that's not a lot of money but it's still expensive if you want something almost as good i mean this thing is at least a 12 to me in smell it's called low medial galant this is the edt the Etta toilet edition and this almond in here is one of the best this is one of the most sexiest fragrances close quarters i mean there are not that many this good. There are out there, but just not that many. And this is one of them. Close quarters, this thing right here is electric. It's like, this smells like like fresh clothes, but not downy. You know, a different product. Oh, my God, on my block, my my friend's mother used to, when she used to do the laundry for her family, this is what she would smell on the whole block. This is amazing smell, man, I tell you. Close quarters, Sky, if, if you don't, Want to spend too much money and just test my skills? Buy this. This is the five ounce. You get it for like 75 bucks. Okay, Bella. I did promise you you're next, right? And I'm going to definitely take care of you with this one. From the house of BDK. To back rows. Now in BDK, um, I haven't smelled all their stuff. But what I do have from them is so good, so good. And it's and it's very more feminine than masculine. But because of certain notes in here, because this is a rose tobacco. This has um, this has chocolate. This has plum. The plum in here. I love plum fragrances. If you love plum. You're going to love this fragrance, Bella. This is a 12-hour fragrance. This is sexy, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. You can wear this, go out, stay home. This has so this is so versatile. It is it is really gorgeous. I mean, like I said, this house, they make phenomenal fragrances for women. I'm not going to lie to you. They really do. Like I said, you like plum, you like a tobacco, you like some rose, but this is a feminine leaning fragrance. I'm just crazy. If I was single, I'd spray this on and have girls jumping on me. But that's how you do it. That's the truth of fragrances. Um, so another fragrance I want you to smell, Bella. Bella, we're going to have a few for you straight over here. This fragrance right here, let me punch up the notes real quick. I want to just see something. Um, so yeah. This fragrance right here is just another nice fragrance. So this is um from the house of Warsidi, the house of Zerzhov, called, called Warsadini, Warsadina. Sorry, oh my God. So listen, this is a rose tobacco fragrance, but it's different from that rose tobacco fragrance. I'm going to run through some notes for you right here. You got uh, warm spices, woody, patchouli, musky, sweet, green, pottery, metallic. So this fragrance doesn't carry the same notes like plum, chocolate. This has different notes. When I think of this fragrance, I think of, you know, you're fully dressed, going to go to an opera show. That's kind of where I see you put something like this on. You like going to an opera show? You like going to like eat in fancy restaurants, get really dressed up and smell amazing? This tobacco rose, long lasting, sexy, alluring. Like I said, it's powdery. 
this this is very this sometimes to me smells like rose oud and violet that's how how awkward the, the the smells are this really starts to transform on your skin like i said this to me is like you're going to the opera show you put this on stunning stunning fragrance another stunning fragrance for you bella from the house of Initio, and this is called, hold on, Atomic Rose. So this fragrance is a very heavy rose fragrance. Now, I'm gonna explain to you about this house and the purple bottle. So the purple bottles were really meant for men to wear, but because it's so feminine, because they put something called heliotrope in here, which is a pheromone to make a woman's mind go crazy. That's how come women love this fragrance. They, they buy it and wear it for themselves. But when the company made it, they made it so a guy wears it, a girl smells it, and she goes crazy. But because they go so crazy, women just buy this. It's sexy. It's really, um, you know, this is a... You know, unisex fragrance, but leans feminine. So I said, come guys, when we wear it, I would wear it because this rose. Now, this rose is like a party rose, a very sexual, very, you know, um, inviting, like. Like you go into the dance floor and it's it's calling you and sky is following you. That's what's going to happen when you put this on. You're walking. He's following. This is a very very juicy sexy addictive rose fragrance very addictive um and everything here bella and sky they're all good it's no it's not that oh one is just so much better these are all really good fragrances i'm just showing you a bunch of them so you can pick sample you know you can enjoy so um you know what let's do one for sky so Sky. This is the sexiest amber fragrance. Period. You don't have to look for another one. It doesn't matter. I have a bunch of them. Nothing smells better than this. I have a sec I have one that comes in second, but still, it's just not better than this. Okay. From MFK. This is called Grand Soir. Sorry, guys. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Grand Soir. This is from Mason Francis Francis Kirkland, MFK. So this is the best amber vanilla fragrance you can buy. This is like, you know, when he invented this fragrance, it was like just to get a girl to be, like, what is he wearing? That's what this is. What are you wearing? This is a what are you wearing fragrance. You put this on. And Bella be chasing you like you chasing her. You guys will have a great time chasing each other. <laughs> I'm telling you. Most sexiest amber fragrance in the game. I don't care. Show I wanna I challenge anybody to tell me one better, I'll buy it. I wanna see. Cause it's not, it's not true. Trust me, guys. The best. So here's a fragrance that I put for Sky, but this one. Like this one, like Baccarat Rouge 540, is a unisex fragrance 50-50. Um, again, if you guys, all these fragrances from that company, MFK, that I'm showing you, I couldn't buy these two in the big size, but I would have if they was available for me. That's how good these are. So this is called Oud Satin Mood. See? Mason Francis Kirkland. Oud Satin Mood. Now, Sky um, and Bella, this is a fragrance, again, that's it, it works on both. Just as equal, just as good. You both can wear that. It's a stunning oud rose. The oud is not fecal, dirty, nasty. It is very sexual, voluptuous, and not like the other oud rose fragrances I have here, right? These all smell different. Nothing here smells the same. So... If you buy one, you buy another, you're crazy, you buy them all. I'm just saying, none of these smell the same. Okay? This is one of the most sexiest oud rose combos. 
and lasts forever. Oh, yeah, Sky, look. This thing right here lasts like 16, 18 hours. This one right here lasts 24 hours. Straight crazy, this one. Straight crazy. One of the most sexiest fragrances in the world. Again, this right here. Hands down. It's that good. It really is that good. Mason Francis, Mason Francis Kirkland, is, he has a few serious heavy hitters, just like Initio. I'll keep showing you. And BDK. All these brands. So, this is for Bella. So, Bella, this fragrance right here does not cost a lot. If you buy it on the right uh, website, and it's called Lamar from Kajal. This, again, is a unisex fragrance that leans feminine. Sorry, guys. It leans feminine. This is a pineapple apple fragrance. And it has, I like to call it saffron. It has something like Initio from Oud of Greatness. I'm going to pull that up right now for you, Sky. It has this, some, this background of it. And this is a very alluring fragrance. Very unisex. Leans more feminine, like 55% feminine. So, so Sky, you would like this, Umbella. You know, like I said, this lasts too, like 12 hours. This is a powerhouse. And it only costs like $110. Great fragrance. It's inexpensive because it's been out for a while, but an amazing fragrance. Okay, so hold on. I want to show you something. All right, cool. So, this is for Bella. See, another purple bottle, right? And this is called... Hold on. This is called Side Effect. This is called Side Effect. And this rum, tobacco, cinnamon, saffron. This has sandalwood and that thing called heliotrope like i said before which is that pheromone that drives women crazy sky this is a great tobacco fragrance sexy with rum outstanding fragrance and it's not like tobacco rose they don't smell the same they may have similar things like you see some notes but two different fragrances bella Rum, tobacco, sexiness. See, I'm giving a lot of things that you see are similar, but they're all different, done different, but very appealing. This is another 24-hour fragrance, guys. You know, most of all these initials, Bell and Sky, they are all um, long-lasting fragrances. I don't know why it's not showing it. Long-lasting fragrances. So you know what? Oh, this is what I didn't tell you. So, Bella, if you want to test my skills, right? I already put one for Sky to test my skills. So, I'll put one for you. If you don't want to spend the money on this, right? I have an option for you. It's not as expensive. It's like between $70 and $90. And it's from Mancera called Instant Crush. This smells like 90% with a different twist. Which this one leans more feminine. Where back at Rouge 540 really is a 50 50 because it has this sugarized, caramelized um, cotton candy accord. And it's, it's, it's done because of the Wakoski crystals. They made the same smell as they're making it. So it had like this burnt sugar cotton candy smell, which leans both ways. But this one takes a little bit more of a, a feminine route. And like I said, it's called for Mansara Instant Crush. And this is like 24-hour fragrance. It's a bomb. Straight bomb. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to give Bella her last fragrance and close, her sh and close her show off to Sky. So Bella, here is the last fragrance that I offer you today. It's from Christian Dior, Oud de Spahn. And I love this fragrance. Yes, I like it on my girl more. But if, again, this is so good, so good. Oud, rose, this has the, it's a very airy fragrance, like back of Route 540. Airy, strong, and everybody smells it. You may not smell it, but people are smelling it. And it has a sugary note to it. It's like, 
It's not count, it's not like back of wood 540. This is like a sweet aroma of the oud and rose. It's very sweet, very appealing, very long lasting. Right? This doesn't this fills a room without choking people out. So people don't smell you, but you're not like they're not saying, Holy cow, who is that? This doesn't do that. And it lasts long. Spray your clothes. This may be a little harder to get, but it's worth getting. Oud is spawn. Yeah, it's a sweet oud and rose fragrance. And remember, nothing here smells like anything, guys. Like nothing. This is every one of these smells different. So, Sky, I left the. I don't know if it's the two best for last, but I left you a lot of hits here. I'm not going to lie to you. And I have, I have more hits, but I put a lot of hits here for both of you. But, Sky, this one right here is a. These next two that I'm showing, I mean, everything here is a beast, man. I'm not going to say that, but. Man, this one has been such a darling to my collection. It is called Beverly Hills Exclusive from Unique Luxury. You know, um, there are a lot of other good honey tobacco fragrances in the market. But this is the best one to me. And why is the best one? Because it is more sophisticated than all of them. It is just as playful and more sophisticated and this is one of the most sexiest fragrances on the effing planet i have some more but this is one of them this this honey tobacco sexiest honey tobacco in the fragrance in the whole fragrance game i don't care prove me wrong i want to show me i could i want to go sample it because i know it's not there's nothing more sexier than this honey tobacco fragrance period and there are other good, and there are other good sexy honey tobacco fragrances that could always tell you, Sky. But this, to me, number uno. Beverly Hills exclusive, from the house of unique luxury. Beverly Hills exclusive. Now the last one uh, is for you again, Sky. And this one right here could be the mother effer of them all. I think if you put a gun to my head, this might be the sexiest fragrance period ever made. I haven't smelled everything, but I don't I really don't have to smell everything when you smell something like this. And people hate because I you know they they don't get no girls to me really. I'm 46 with a 24 year old girl. You tell me if I don't get girls. I wanna know what you'd be doing. You ain't doing what I'm doing. But this fragrance right here, yo, Sky, this thing right here is a lethal injection. Like, when they made, when they constructed this fragrance, it was built to take a girl right off her head, off, bing, like, oh, she's mine. Holy cow. This is no lie, I swear. From the house of Inicio, Oud for Greatness. You see, Sky? Oud for Greatness. There you go. Why is it not showing? There you go. Oud for greatness. Man, I it's one of the most sexiest fragrances in the world. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You put this on, no way a girl that likes you, you survive the night. I don't think you survive the night. I don't think so. Something's happening to you that night, 100%. That's all I'm going to say. I tell people this. If you put this on and the girl that you're with says she loves you and likes you, doesn't attack you, you should go to the gym. That's what I tell people because this thing, I don't think you can look like a goddamn animal from Africa or something, but this thing on... I don't know. This thing is a dangerous fragrance. I mean, all of these things are dangerous. I'm not going to lie to you. These are all dangerous. You know, just this one, I think it's like just the creme de la creme, like the very top of the 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 top. So I know I've been going off a little bit, but that's just the way I feel. You know, Oud of Greatness is just that good. Oud of Greatness. It has no Oud in it. It's just greatness. The name says everything. 
So look, oh, I wanted to show you before I go. I have backups of these two fragrances. See, the one I told you to buy, Sky. Here's the backup. This is how it looks. And I have a backup of this Tom Ford Noir Extreme as well. That's how good this is, that, that is too. You know, um, I don't have a backup of some other stuff. I just, I have a lot of fragrances. So it's like, I'm never going to run out or use them all. But I'm just telling you what smells good. And look, Sky and Bella, this is for you. These fragrances right here, the best of the best. Here are the two honorable mentions. Sky. Here's this other sexy cologne, Savage. Now, family, before we leave, Sky and Bella, thank you for letting me entertain you guys both tonight. I hope you liked the content. I hope everything was, was ex what you expected and more. Now, family, you know how we do here, right? We praise to the most high. We stay fly. Health is wealth. Man Cologne Channel. And I'm out of here. Peace.